Hey guys, this is the second um, video for my capacitive touch sensor. Um, I've got it working. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. Um, so what I've got is the pieces of metal um, taped uh, with a wire in the back um, using electrical tape. And the wire feeds over into the really simple circuit which basically just connects to um, the resistor and to the Arduino. I changed the a microcontroller. It's the same microcontroller, just a different board. Um, and then I've got a little LED here that will light up when I touch it. I think you can see that pretty well. Yeah. So, yeah, um, what I found is that the size of the plate and the length of the wire does actually um, adjust the readings. Um, it's not that much though. Uh, so, um, I can just set a arbitrary uh, value to check if the, the the reading is greater than in my case about a thousand, and it's pretty pretty easy to tell if uh, someone's touching it or not. Now, what's kind of cool is that putting something on it like this, like using a little um, tape here, doesn't set it off, but touching it does. It's because your hand has a lot of water in it, and um, uh, water is a good way to uh, disturb all the little magnetic fields that are going on out there. Um, you should Google more on the theory behind it since I just kind of um, read and vaguely understand it and assemble circuits and play around rather than getting into the whole theory. But I believe what happens is that your hand adjusts the magnetic field, magnetic field adjusts the capacitance, the capacitance drains through the resistor. Uh, the higher the value of the resistor, the slower the electricity drains through it. And then you can read those um, values through the analog to digital converter that's built into the microcontroller and uh, if suddenly you're reading the same value over and over and over and all of a sudden the number changes it's probably because a hand touched it so it's really quite straightforward um, but yeah so it's pretty neat like you know empty coffee cup doesn't set it up hand does so now I've got my capacitive touch sensors all figured out and I can start using them for additional products or projects. Alright, talk to you later.